Hey guys, it's Lisette here. I have been wanting to do this video for like probably over six months, but I finally got all the supplies. And so in today's video, I'm gonna be transforming myself into a brat doll. First off, I wanna show you guys my photo inspiration. This is the picture that I'm gonna be referencing throughout the whole makeup and for the hair. I feel like this is gonna test my skills because I haven't done like really dramatic makeup like this in a very long time. If you like videos like this, then please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's get started. I'm not sure if this is Sasha or if this is Yasmin. I think it's Sasha. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember Sasha having a beauty mark down here on her lip. I don't know, maybe this is just a brat stall that somebody created, but I feel like it's really cute, so that's what I'm gonna do. So first, I'm gonna start with the hair. I took a shower, my hair is kind of damp. I'm gonna put a wig on. My hair is just like getting so thick and long. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm not gonna be wearing my hair like out in public so i feel like i can kind of finesse it for the wig what i'm gonna do is just part my hair down the middle i got my spray bottle this is just gonna make it easier so that i can kind of brush my hair down this is like the most easiest bootleg way to do it like this do not do this if you actually need to go out in public because it's not gonna be cute i'm just gonna tie a really low ponytail so i got one and then i'm just gonna do this side and this is just because I feel like way too lazy to braid. Just doing the exact same thing on the other side. I got my two pigtails and I'm just braiding this section. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm trying to like get it tight. And I'm just gonna grab an elastic band and just tie this off. One braid down and it's perfect too because this wig has like bangs on it so <laughs> it's also just like an easy way to not really like install it cute you know oh my god these nails are so dangerous these braids are so raggedy but you know what it really doesn't matter now that i got these braids i got my one braid so i'm just gonna tuck it under here and bobby pin it and then do the exact same thing to this side i got this wig cap obviously it's not flat in the back but we're not gonna look at the back um look at these nails what do i look like trying to do braids it's not gonna work this is my wig and it comes with like a band so i'm gonna secure the band first behind my head I'm gonna officially style the wig a little bit later, but first I just wanna clip out everything out the way so I can cut the lace. So I got my wig on. Like I said, I got the bangs coming down. All this is gonna be concealed, so don't worry about it. And I'm gonna fix it after I finish the makeup. How are Bratz eyebrows? I mean, in this picture you can't really see, but I can only imagine that they're like kind of skinny and arched. So that's what we gonna do. I um, feel like my forehead is like, has a mind of its own right now, but whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna start with my brows. I'm gonna kind of brush them up. I'm gonna use a medium brown eyebrow pencil. Okay, I definitely have two different size brows happening right now. I think I like the thinner one, so I'm hoping that when I carve it out, everything just kind of looks a little bit better because right now, I'm scared. I'm gonna take a light concealer and just carve them out real quick. Just got the brows on. I tried to lift the corners a little bit by trying to conceal a little bit of my actual brow since I'm not willing to pluck it. Got the brows on, finally. Wow, how long has this freaking hair been on my chin? And then I'm just gonna set it with some powder. Okay, so we're working with kind of like a very, almost like an indigo bluish purple. I bought this Morphe palette and it, 
if I could open it without dropping it. It has beautiful colors in it, especially like these purples, which is what I'm gonna use for this eye look. Referencing this picture again, I think that I wanna do kind of like a cut crease look. Let's just go for it. I'm gonna start by taking this really dark purple and I'm gonna use this to map out my cut crease. I'm just layering this color just to get the correct intensity. Got one eye done and so I'm gonna move on to the other eye. Hopefully I can make them even. And again, I'm just packing on this purpley shade. It definitely needs to be cleaned up and everything, but you know, I feel like we have a pretty good shape going on. On a fluffy brush, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this lighter purple just to blend it out a little bit. I'm also going back in with that purple just to kind of like reinstate that color since it was like blended out. I'm gonna blend the light purple out with a little bit of this nude shade right here because in the photo, it looks like there's a white. Just kind of softly blending the edges just so it's not too harsh. I just clean up everything and make it look a lot better. I'm gonna take a Q-tip. I'm gonna use a little bit of some micellar water and carve out my crease. I'm just doing this like really slowly because I don't wanna mess this part up. <laughs> I'm gonna again take a light concealer. And I'm just gonna carve out my crease. This way I can really get like a defined line. And so the trick that I do, I apply it on my lid and kind of look up and it's right in that line that I created. Ooh, that's... And then I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. I'm gonna set this lightly just cause I'm not really sure what color I wanna use on top. I'm gonna apply some concealer, look up. I look so shiny, oh my gosh, but whatever. Based on the photo, it does look like there is some sort of light shimmer on the lid. I think this would be a really pretty color right here. It's kind of like a very light iridescent purple. I'm gonna spray my brush with a little bit of some all-nighter setting spray. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just gonna have to keep wetting this. This shadow is not really pigmented. I'm pretty satisfied with the shadow, so I'm gonna move on to eyeliner. This is the part that I'm like a little bit scared of because I don't want to mess up my shadow. I'm gonna really take my time and I need to move my mirror like really close so I could see. I'm gonna follow this cut crease. Oh my gosh, this wig, y'all. Just ignore the wig. I'm gonna do a line. Usually I kind of start like halfway, but I'm gonna do a whole line. And I'm not gonna do it too thick, but I am gonna do it thicker than normal. I got my liner on. I've seen a lot of people draw eyelashes, but I'm not really like in a mood for that. I'm gonna take my eyelash curler and apply some mascara just to prep my natural lashes for falsies. Instead of putting them on like this, I'm gonna put them on like this. So it's like there's more height to the lash and they're a little bit more dramatic. I push the lash up. Got my lashes on. I'm not done with the eyes, but I like to come back to the eyes after I've already put my foundation on. When I think of a Bratz doll, I think of a doll, I think of something that is like sculpted to perfection. I wanna use my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, but this is not my right shade. So I'm gonna mix it in with this lighter color just so I can make like my own custom shade. I'm just putting this all over my face. I really want that full coverage look. Got my foundation on. I decided that I'm gonna actually cream contour just because I know that my face always looks like flawless when I do it. And just blend everything in. For my nose, I'm gonna use this little brush because I really wanna be able to blend the sides really good. And I'm going in with my concealer just to like bring the light back. And just blend this out. Then I'm gonna set my under eye and the rest of my face. Press the powder into my face. Oh my gosh, my skin looks literally fake. 
This powder is balm. Even though I cream contoured, I still like to go in with a powder on top. So I'm just gonna quickly go over that contour just to kind of bring it back to life. And this is Bratz, like I can do the most. Now it's time for blush. I'm using one that is like really peachy, kind of like corally. And I'm just gonna pop this right onto my cheeks. And then of course I gotta add a little bit of highlight. So back to the lower lash line. When I think of a doll, I think of big eyes. And so a way that you can make your eyes look bigger is by using a white eyeliner. So I'm gonna apply this on my waterline. I haven't put eyeliner on my waterline in literally years. Like, wow, that's crazy. It's like kind of tickles. Oh my gosh, it tickles. I got my white liner on. And so what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of that purple on my lower lash line, just to kind of connect it to the eyeliner. I'm gonna start with the dark purple. And then I'm just gonna fade it out with that lighter purple. For my inner corners, I'm gonna use a whitish shimmer. I don't know if I'm gonna draw the lines at the bottom. I feel like I could. I naturally have really long lashes on my lower lash line, so maybe I'll just try to use mascara. So now we're finally moving on to lips, which I'm super excited about. Brat's lips are a little bit interesting. They kind of go up on the sides, and obviously they're very like luscious. So I'm gonna overdraw my lips. I don't know if this shade is gonna be dark enough. The lip liner is like a dark mauve, so I'm gonna use this one. It's a little bit on the darker side, but I feel like I can blend it out and kind of make it work. You also wanna make the lip taller in the front as opposed to like round throughout the whole thing. never overlined my top lip this much. I finally feel like I got the lip shape right. Gently fade the edges. For my lips, I'm gonna fill them in with this color that I originally used. Her lips are a little bit more pink, so I have this lip gloss that I'm gonna put right on top. And here are the lips, <laughs> very full, still kind of loving it. So in this picture, she has a really pretty beauty mark right here. So I'm gonna add one. Now that I have the makeup on, I can finally address this hair. I'm so sick of this freaking wig sliding back. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I kind of just want to see like where the bangs are. This is kind of reminding me of my high school days when I tried to cut my own bangs like this and I would have to straighten them every single day. I think I figured out the bangs, at least to my best ability. Um, I might try to pull it up just like a little bit, but I'm gonna come back with the final look to show you guys the full transformation because I'm gonna have a hat on, so it's gonna cover all this and it's gonna look really cute. And this is the final look. Oh my gosh, I feel like I nailed this. Got the necklace, got the hoops. Got the hat. I am living my childhood dreams right now. Overall, I feel like the whole look turned out bomb. I had so much freaking fun doing this video. I'm definitely team Bratz. But yeah, this was my Bratz doll look. I feel like I killed it. I mean, let me know what you guys think. I literally am in love with the eyes. I love everything about this look. I just feel like it came together so good. If you like this video and you want more videos like this, then please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.